Okay, so in this lesson, we're gonna quickly cover browsing and loading sounds from our left hand browser pane. So as we covered earlier in the introduction to the interface lesson, you just browse to and find your sounds in here using a number of different ways. You can either go to your entire sounds category and search up here, or you can go to somewhere where you not, might know it is, whether that's in your samples directory here, or if you've got a custom folder right here. So let's use something from our custom folder initially. We'll use the folder that we're gonna give you with this lesson pack. So let's browse for some beats. So let's open the folder for our beats and we've got a folder for our loops section already open. So I'm gonna get this bongo disco loop, click and drag it in onto this audio track. Now, if I wanted to load another loop on another track, I could click it and drag it into this drop files and devices space here. So what that does is loads the sample into this audio track in this clip slot here. Now, clips are what Ableton refers to as individual sounds or MIDI events. So we've got this bongo disco loop here. Let's have a listen. So if we wanted to preview that sound, instead of just loading it in, all you have to do is click on the left and it will preview the sound. If for whatever reason you want that sound to stop looping, just turn this little headphone off. Now what Ableton will do is if I take the tempo of my set down, let's take this down to 100 BPM and have a listen. Depending on your settings in the preferences menu, Let's see, in Record Warp and Launch, I have Auto Warp Long Samples on. Now, a long sample, this loop may not sound long to you, but what Ableton would refer to as a short sample is a simple little drum hit. So, this is, for all intents and purposes, a long sample, and Auto Warp is on. So, what Ableton will automatically do is stretch that audio to fit our set as best it can. So, you'll hear, if we play our song, which just contains a bongo loop at the moment, and we audition any of these other loops, Ableton will attempt to make them fit in time so that we'll get a really good idea of whether that loop will go or not. So you can hear everything's perfectly in time there, everything's holding to 100 BPM. And if I raise this tempo up, still be in time. So it's a very handy feature in Ableton Live that you can audition loops and everything will be in time and just be the only way that really makes sense if you're writing tracks. That's what Ableton's all about, just kind of making it as easy for you just to slot things in and make things fit. So that's pretty much it for loading sounds. Let's move swiftly on to warping, creating and editing and recording our own clips.